Frank, be careful. Check out all the betas. We have our three new beta friends. They actually just got their shipment in. That's why we're here. It's Thursday. Literally, they have so much fish right now. It's actually insane. It's really beautiful. Oh, look at the Ornata goldfish. Ours is so big that we put in our pond at the farm. But we bought ours when it was like that small. It's so crazy. Look at these guys right here. I'm thinking about getting a goldfish tank. If you guys want to see me like set up a goldfish bowl or like tank for the house, let me know. I would actually, I actually wouldn't mind having one of these guys like in the house. We got all the mollies over here. Look at all all these awesome colors. I actually might want to do like something with mollies soon. They're actually really beautiful fish. Look how cute they are. Little guys, all the nice colors. It's like a cookies and cream right there. I'm just really in love with this shark down here. Oh my God. I want that swimming around in my 40 gallon up in my room. Oh, hey Frank. Oh shoot, I just almost fell. First of all, wait, let's check out all the betas. I came in to buy the the $50 beta fish as well. When we came in last time, it was like over here somewhere, but they have like no beta fishes right now. But they do have the Dumbo Half Moon. Yeah, yeah, guys, I really do like this Dumbo Half Moon beta. But if you guys do remember the video when I bought all of my beta fish, I said if that video hits 100 likes, we're gonna be coming back and buying the $50 beta fish. They, unfortunately, they do not have it, so we're gonna have to wait it out, but that video is coming soon. Oh, you, you could still go. No, no, you're good. Let's look at that one's head right there. It's a crown, bro. Yeah, we were looking at that. We think it's just part of his marking. Orange oh, down there. Yeah, look yeah. at the little baby fish down there. That's really cool. He's got hurt. <laughs> okay, you want three. Yeah, three. So these are the little algae eaters? Right there. Oh, right there, Chinese algae eater. Yep. Oh, God, we got three for the three beta fish tanks. So awesome. Yeah. So we got the three Chinese algae eaters. Bag them and tag them. That's what we do. Right, Frankie, bro? Bag them and tag them, baby. We're on that fish grind, brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're back at the pro pad and we have our three new beta friends for our three beta tanks that we did. As you guys know, we recently upgraded the tanks. We did a Halloween theme one on this one. And sometimes food goes at the bottom on the rocks over here. So while we were at the store, these little guys looked perfect. They're fast, they clean the bottom, and I don't think they're gonna mess around with the betas or vice versa at all because it's gonna be hard. Even if they're feeling a little aggressive, I don't think they're gonna catch these guys. And they, the lady at the store said that these shouldn't be a problem either. So if you guys do want to add stuff in your beta fish tank to like help clean, I think these are the right little uh, fish to go with. The Chinese algae eaters. Look at them. All right, so we're going to acclimate them right now. This tank's a little yeah, bit lower. Yeah, this tank, the water looks a little low on this tank, so we're going to do it in this guy's tank. Just going to stick the bag right in there. Like he's like, whoa, what's going on right now? Look at that. Look at him. Look at him looking. I think he's excited. Oh, malfunction. Oh! Look at right, that. So look. Like he's like investigating. He's like, what is going on right now? And so is the platinum gold. Guys, we don't have names for these beta fish. What do you guys think we should name? Maybe like Snow White, maybe, oh, he's trying to like, this guy's aggressive, but I don't think he's gonna be able to catch them once they're out of the bag. We're gonna see, but these are gonna be such a nice addition to the tank. Like I said, some food gets to the bottom. Well, yeah, guys, we need a name for this one. This guy, the Placket Koi, the Platinum Beta, maybe like Snow White. And let's go check out the Dragon Scale real quick. And we need a name for him as well. So what do you guys think? And also, I recently found out from a comment that all the Beta fish that I bought are males. So that's really cool. So they could be guy names. So let me know down below. Let's choose the names. And while these little guys are acclimating, we're going to feed Frank Scorpion. Athena. Athena. She's dope. She's a beauty. I fed her last week, she ate a full cricket. It's honestly so dope how they eat. They like pinch it in their claws and then they put it in their mouth. They eat like a human. So cool. Looks so cool on the camera. And she didn't sting the food last week. Really? But I low-key want her to sting the food this week for the sake of the video. So this is not where she lives. This is like a temporary just like... Moving tank. Yeah, to I, bring I, back and forth to like my house. Cause I feed her in it because it's a little bit like smaller. Yeah, the crickets can't like move around and stuff as much. Look how awesome this scorpion is. Where are the crickets at? We just got some crickets. I was gonna feed Boss as well, my bearded dragon, which is over there Should I put it on my in face? the living room. Yeah, put it on your face. But my bearded dragon is sleeping, so we're gonna have to figure out what we're doing with all these crickets. I got a dozen of them. Frank's gonna put the scorpion on his face. We'll find our way down. If really? We, if we really want him to. But there she goes. Oh my God, that's so awesome. That's so creepy. Frank, be careful. Frank, what's on your face? I don't want her to fall. Frank is a scorpion expert. So really, I just like stay calm because I don't want her to fall off me and like hit the floor and stuff. Yeah, that's so cool. But if I move the wrong way, she might get pissed. Yeah. Like that. No, you're, you're still fine. 
Look at her exploring. I thought you said you were an expert. I was, but she went. She was going to the back side of the arm. Okay. So, what I do is I take everything out. This is gonna have a little dirt on it. I'm just gonna kind of sit it like this. We're gonna have to wipe it down after. And I keep the water bowl in because you know she don't want some water in a little bit. Yep. So we're gonna. I'm gonna put her back in. Come on out. Come on out, big mama. <laughs> Ah, so you gotta like scoop her up when she's like this. What I do is I just, I just go like this. And she always goes in. Awesome. That's the thing because if your hands are flat, she's not gonna be able to like sting them and stuff. And then when I want her to go back in, just give her like a little nudge with something from the back end. Give her a little boost. All right, so we gotta take one cricket. I put it in here. And the way I feed her is I offer it to her, like I literally hold it and give it to her. Frank is literally the scorpion king. How does it feel to be the scorpion king? I'm honored, honestly. No, it's pretty dope. She, she just kind of chose in my room and I have a good light cycle since they're nocturnal. So I, I like keep her pretty good. It's pretty awesome. How are the Chinese algae eaters doing? They're acclimating nice. Yeah, right now they're acclimating in the tank. In the Halloween theme tank, if you guys did miss that video, click up here. That video was awesome. And I think these are gonna be such a cool addition to these betta fish tanks. Like, this is just gonna be awesome. Because betta fish are beautiful, but like, it, it would be awesome if there was other stuff in the tank with them. So I think this is gonna be perfect. Really excited to put these in. I don't know, I'm in a, I'm in a like, a debate which one is my favorite one, the platinum gold. Just so beautiful, so clean. Look at that white, it's just so beautiful. Or the placket koi. Awesome colors on him. I really don't know which one is your favorite, guys. These two are the dragon scale over there. All right, so, oh, she's so you just have chilling. one cricket. We got the cricket right here. I'm just gonna give her a little tap. Maybe she'll wake up. Then I just kind of put it near, her, and she should just grab it. I'm gonna put him down and grab him a little bit better. Oh, he's going right for him. Nah, nah, but she won't attack it. Yeah, you have to help her. Yeah. Wait, I'll cut all this out. I just gotta grab him better. Oh, there we go. She might not be hungry right now. So sometimes they don't like always eat the food that you hand into them. She might not even eat it right she now. She a little camera shy? A little camera shy. Oh, wow. Now she's got it. Look, she's going to eat it. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Let this focus up. That's crazy. Have you guys ever seen a scorpion eat this close? Look how crazy that is up close. It's insane. I feel a little bad for that cricket because that's like a slow like death right there. But I mean the scorpion has to eat, but literally the bearded dragon will just like, you know, take it in one bite. But that thing's like munching on it little by little. That's like torture. Like cricket's probably going like ah! there, there's No sting, no sting. Like I'm I'm not talking a lot because I was reading something that when they're eating, like if- Oh, they, that's crazy though, wait, I'm sorry to interrupt, but like it's eating it so like fast, kind of. Yeah, no, I was reading Like something. halfway is gone. Look at the teeth just like piercing through it. That's actually crazy. No, no, but I was reading something that- That's while they're, nuts. While they're eating, if you actually make like a lot of noise, it might like not eat it. It might literally just spit it back out. Really? Are we ready to acclimate? Are we ready to release? Literally just for you and me. Look, it's like halfway in its mouth. All right guys, so it's been 30 minutes. They've been acclimating to this water. So now we're gonna take this bag out, just put the paper towel right over so we don't make a mess. All right. Now since there's three of them in here, I'm just gonna use the net. I don't feel like, like dumping all this water out because I have to get one at a time. Let me just see what we can do here. Ooh, got one. So let's put this one in. He's with. going right in first. Here's the first tank, buddy. Wow. Look at him go. Right to the bottom. Let's see what the beta oh, does. Oh, the beta fish is like inspecting it right now. The beta might be a little territorial at first. Yeah, but the algae eater, he's gonna like mind his own business. Y'all, where'd he go? He's probably hanging around the bottom somewhere, isn't he? The algae eater's Oh, in there the he back. is, he's on the other side. Yeah. The placket koi really isn't like messing with him too much. No, the placket koi won't be able to catch up to him. No, not at all. Hey, let's get the second one in with the platinum gold. Yeah, yeah, awesome. I'm excited for this one. All right, let's put the second one in with the uh, platinum the gold. second one. Oh, we already got it fast, look at that. Can we, the, can we put the lid on? Can't see him because the curve, there he is. He's chilling, finding his way in his new home. A little technical difficulty. This beta seems very interested in him. Oh yeah, they're, they're gonna like see what's up, but I don't think he's really gonna mess around with them too much. The good thing- Oh, look at the one on the pumpkin right there. Look, he's cleaning the pumpkin off. The good thing about this is that there's a lot of places for them to hide in these tanks. Oh yeah, look, they can hide in the Halloween mask and they're gonna be able to clean the floors really nice. 
Check out this one. Where's this one at? Look, he's he's right in the glass right there. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, look, he's right over here. Look, so he, what the the beta fish is just checking him out, really. But honestly, I don't think they're gonna be aggressive at all. Maybe like a little territorial at first. But yeah, but this one kind of accepted. Look, he's like chilling. He knows that he's in the tank. And he's just down here doing his thing, hanging out with the pumpkin. That's so awesome. Yeah, I have a Chinese algae eater. I bought it this big. Now it's like this big. It lives with my Oscar at the house. That's crazy. All right, so let's get the last one. More technical difficulties. We got the last one. Let's drop him in, and then we're going to show them a little sneak peek of what's to come next. Yep. It's a little dark over here, guys. Mama Pro is watching a little TV. You already know. Yeah. Oh, hey, Mom. Wait, is it still in? Yeah. Is it in or not? Oh, yeah, it came did. out. I thought he was in the net. No, he, he came out of the net. Where'd he go just now? Oh, he's over on the side over there. Now this one's doing his thing too. That's so awesome. That is so cool. Guys, just look how awesome this is. And like the betta fish is like following the little Chinese algae eater around. And that's pretty cool because it's like a little friend for the betta fish and it keeps them active. And honestly, they've just been doing their own thing. Where's the other one? Look, the other one's cleaning up the plants right there. That's so cool. And the betta fish is just up here doing his own thing. That is so awesome. Look, he's just like seeing what's up. Look, but then he just like goes away. He's just seeing what's up. He's doing his own thing. He's going to clean the tank. And this guy is going to look beautiful in the tank. So it's like a win-win. So awesome. Tell him to subscribe, Frank. Where is it? Where is it? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more videos like this, be sure to let us know down below. New videos every other day. Oh my god, I just did the whole outro and wasn't even recording. That's so funny. Rookie mistake. But today's subscriber shout out goes to Just Ash. Another great video. All the animals are looking gorgeous. Thank you so much. I'm happy you guys are enjoying the videos. The support this month has just been insane. We're going to keep on bringing you awesome content. We will see you guys on Sunday. Love you guys so much. Hashtag CPR me. Almost at 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> see you guys. Peace.